I'm Alan Taylor for this December 23rd edition of the Golden Blue Lunch Report, and today we are ranking the seven bowl games involving Big 12 members. And forget counting down, we're actually counting up, because number one is obvious. We start in Miami with the Orange Bowl, where the Big 12 champion Sooners are favored to beat number one Clemson. You thought the Big 12 got no respect? How about the ACC champs getting nine? The second most interesting Big 12 Bowl matchup takes place in San Antonio. That's TCU versus Oregon in the Alamo Bowl. Horn Frog fans wanted this matchup in last year's playoff, but they'll see an awfully entertaining consolation prize this time around. And for all the folks picking Oklahoma to win the national title, remember that TCU, with its third string quarterback in the game, was a batted down two point try away from beating the Sooners in Norman. At number three on our list, I'll go Texas Bowl because of the multitudes of storylines. LSU coach Les Miles back from the guillotine. Texas Tech coach Cliff Kingsbury down five assistants. Three he fired and two left for other jobs. Then there's Leonard Fournette, pound for pound still the best running back in America. He could rewrite the record books against that historically bad Texas Tech defense. And another reason why this game gets a bump, fan interest. More than 70,000 expected in Houston after Tech and LSU sold out their ticket allotments in only a few days. The Sugar Bowl comes in at number four, tempered by Oklahoma State's mystery at quarterback and Ole Miss losing future first rounder Robert Kandichi to the Spice Rack. At number five, back to Memphis for the Liberty Bowl. Some think this game is a snoozer but not if you followed the Hogs and Wildcats this season, both of whom have had a penchant for playing exciting down-to-the-wire games. Each team had six games decided on the final drive, and Arkansas, of course, produced the best legal lateral play of the season. Crazy stuff. At number six on our Big 12 Bowl list, let's look at the Russell Athletic Bowl. UNC versus Baylor promises highlights, but a lot of injuries for the Bears. The line has swung five points since opening with Baylor as a two and a half point favorite. Injuries to All-American wide receiver Corey Coleman, running back Shaq Linwood, and confirmation that Jarrett Stidham won't return at quarterback now have the Bears listed at two and a half point dogs. And at number seven, dead last on our list of most interesting Big 12 bowl matchups, we go to the land of Diamondbacks where Arizona State had a mostly disappointing season, and West Virginia is coming off a deflating loss at K-State. These two schools were a combined 6-11 versus bowl teams this year. For the Golden Blue Lunch Report, I'm Alan Taylor. We're going to be taking a few days off for the Christmas break. We certainly hope you enjoy your holidays. See you soon.